Hi everybody, welcome back. Okay, so um, I'm only going to do a couple of these. Uh, this is the one that I started last week um, with the people and just the landscape making out of the um, uh, with the turquoise. Um, turquoise uh, and black and all, all of the turquoise and black and whites that I have. Now, I did move on myself and make another one just as a bit of a play for me. So, I mean, this is obviously going into my um, journal. So the pages um, will be halved. So they'll kind of look cool within my journal. Um, I'm going to do a big, I'm going to do a larger canvas out of one of these. But um, I, I thought what I'm going to do today, though, I mean, obviously, you you could do any of these this is just um gold and this one here i did three off camera because that's what i tend to do um i just practicing the little people and um i put a bit of gold in there with um the new gold pen i've got which is like that really shiny gold marker the chrome marker that's been on online everywhere Fabulous chrome markers, really, really, really gorgeous. I love them. Um, but today what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start with the black and white and I'm going to put, I'm going to do a landscape, but it's going to have buildings in it. And I think I'm, um, that might be the one that I do larger, but I'm not sure. But uh, so this is a slightly different one and I will just put music on and do it so you can watch um, how I do that. Or um, you can go to the end and see the end end result if you kind of know already how it's done. I hope everyone's really well um, and going, you know, well. And it's turning winter in here in Melbourne. And, uh, yes, so I'll be out in my studio with the heater going uh, lots more. So I will be talking and annoying you on here <laughs> much more. All right. All right. All the best. So I want to draw a skyline. I've decided that this this is the um, the piece of uh, cut paper I, I want to want in the background. Um, so I want to kind of draw just a skyline that I want to put in, and I'm going to keep it pretty simple, probably. Um, I might go all the way across. That might be a bit big. Maybe I might make really an odd. Right, so I'm just going to cut that out. Now, you need both parts. So try and keep them, you know, um, I've got children's, I've been playing with my granddaughter and I've got like her scissors here today. <laughs> her paper scissors, so that's kind of funny. But they'll work just as easily as any other.
I'll just go like that. Okay, so that's going to be the sky line, I think. It's a pretty simple one. So this piece here that's in here, um, you're going to cut that out in whatever sky um, paper you've decided to utilise. For instance, if I wanted to use um, this as the sky, So this piece here is going to be the sky. This piece here is actually what I'm going to be cutting out. So um, you can, I would probably sketch it on. Now, the reason that I'm cutting this out is because I want this bit to be the grey, so it looks like the buildings. So I'm just going to do this bit here, okay? I will go off camera and do it because it's going to take five minutes or something. Gonna make that straight that edge. So that could just go there. And then on the back. 
space. Um, I will do. I might just do some crisscross to utilise what we've got. Okay, now then we're going to come back. Um, Gosh, go away off camera for five seconds and I'm like, you know, <laughs> sorry about that, but that's okay. I'll show you what I've done. I haven't done really much more. I just got one of the, that lovely gold pen of mine and outlined the buildings. I decided that, um, so over the last month, you know, you order things online and they decide to come all at once. So I got this absolutely um fabulous where are they here we go in the mail i got these lovely um star array um and i'm going to utilize because of the gold pen i was thinking what i'm going to do so i'm going to cut one of these up and actually utilize it in um in the top here on this page if i could work out how to open the packet of course I can work out how to open the packet. There we go. Now these are these are so gorgeous. So um I will put a link down below. So aren't they beautiful? I mean they're just so cool. So um I'm gonna put half of one up on this this side. I haven't decided which one yet. Um but I will go through oh look at that lovely, isn't that gorgeous? Um they would also make really good. They're actually foil. Uh, they're not paper. I remember years ago I, I had, had paper paper versions. So I don't know how these would go on the jelly plate, but um, obviously that's something I'm going to explore. I actually bought two packets, one for play and one for use. So um, I think they're gorgeous. Um, anyway. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut one of these up. And I will play very soon on the jelly plate with those. I mean, they, they might be absolutely sensational. Um, maybe that one there. I'm thinking. Now, also, so we've got the gold there. Now, we could get the ink out and run the lines, um, you know, of um we could get the ink out we could just do it like this with a texture this point in time that little bit there's wrong that needs to come off right this is still a bit damp from the glue but that's okay so those are the kind of the the land structure now I'm just going to cut that bit off because that's too there we go that's better 
So I'm going to glue this on. I'm also going to fix the sky. And I'm going to glue that on there so that at least when it's on one of the pages, one of the pages, it will be. Yep. Okay. I'm going to just cut it dead in half. Uh, the other thing I have to find is, of course, some more green up there for that sky from um, our paper. Ah, perfect. So maybe we might just pop that on. Right, I'm just going to glue that bit on. Um, I don't need to stay on camera, I don't think, to do that. But you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to glue, although I do forget to turn back on the camera when I <laughs> I'm going to glue that on. Then we're going to come back. So we've um, glued those all on and the sky's done and the different layers and my very very shiny um, houses, uh, silhouette type things, and the land, which I'm really, really enjoying the land, but I am going to put trees in. So now I have to decide really what colour the trees are. Um, so I'm feeling like it probably needs to be um, the, this, this colour here, this tealy one. And I'm going to just randomly um, rip just for the moment, just so that I can get an idea on sizes and what I think um, I need. I'm just going to rip off some pieces. Um, now these are some of them are quite large trees and let's just have remember this is fun this is meant to be fun this is not meant to be this is not at all ever meant to be um serious <laughs> um it's just a fun piece of art we are going to put people in it, of course. You're going to put your little ink people in it. So we're going to put maybe, you know, I've got that, that standard five, haven't I? But maybe three. Three, five. Hmm. Well, maybe two tiny little ones. Make this up. Just rip this off. Kind of little bush down here, and a little bush maybe just down here. No, don't like that one. All right. What do you think? Yeah. So I think they're good. And we could also, you know, add some more. Now you could obviously, ah, you could also, you know, get a white Posca and, you know, do some sorts of tree looking pieces down here. Or just add a bit of texture to it, you know, for some some uh, difference. So I'm going to do ink people still, or am I going to do? No, maybe I might do. Like I love ink, as you know. But you know, the people, little head. Ooh. 
Let's see if we can draw them in. Let's do some really quirky ones, huh? So I'm just going to put a few people in. So, and I'm just using the a jumbo marker just for a bit of fun. Hang on, let me put these trees in. One's going to go there. That tiny little one that's got stuck is just going to go there. This one's going to go here. That one's going to go here. Now, that's better. We'll just get those out of the road. Now, also, we've got to do, you know, you can choose adding colour. Um, with wax crayons or you know anything like that I'm going to leave that to go a bit drier um, before I do that because it won't go on the on the wet paper but I will go round them with the crayon adding a little bit more of the color and I will put another person in, which um, you've seen me do before. And I'm, I'm going to actually do an ink workshop, I think, on that, those. Just a quick one. Yeah, maybe next week instead of uh, doing this, this kind of thing, which takes a bit of time. So um, this is one picture on my, um, where are we? Let's just go back. Okay. So this is one side and then this is the other side. I'll put a person or two in there too and I'll finish the um, the trunks of the trees and the two pages are done and they're absolutely gorgeous. So I'd like to know um, if you were going to do a large picture, you know, probably like just 12 inches by 16 inches canvas or something like that. Would you rather do one with um, houses in it or would you rather do one of the first ones where I just did a scene? So, you know, just message me underneath and just say, which would you rather do, the scene or the um, the scene one in, on a larger canvas or the, um, the one with the houses? Either, although I do like this one, you know, with the with the um, trees and so forth. But I see this is really coming together too. This is further, a much further away one. This is a lot closer one. Yeah, same colours though, so they work well together. They could be a, you know. All right. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next week, probably for people work. Maybe we might work on some people on 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 there. And, yeah, let me know in the comments below, yeah, which which would you like me to go larger in, in which way, yeah, which picture would you like me to go larger. All right, I'll see you then. Have a great week.